Hi there, and welcome to a basic introduction to mechanical ventilation. This is chapter 8.4, Ventilating ARDS, PEEP, and Recruitment. As we've been discussing in previous sections, PEEP is a critical component of ventilation in ARDS. At a bare minimum, there are lung segments that will collapse with any PEEP, and a basic level of PEEP is standard in all ventilated patients. Beyond this baseline level, there are lung segments that are collapsed, but could be opened at a higher airway pressure. They could be part of the lung segments that are repeatedly opening and closing during respiration and contributing to shear stress and lung injury. By increasing the PEEP, we may be able to open these lung segments and hold them open so that they can contribute to gas exchange. PEEP will therefore increase oxygenation. Not all patients respond to increased PEEP, however, especially if they do not have recruitable lung segments. Also, higher PEEP could increase ventilation dead space, reduce venous return, and increase right ventricular load, so be prepared and anticipate problems. So there are two good reasons to increase PEEP. First is to open alveoli, so they are participating in the gas exchange experience thus increasing oxygenation. Second is that it keeps the alveoli open so there is less shear stress and lung injury. Finding the optimum level of PEEP requires careful titration at the bedside and not using an algorithm. You also need to be patient as change takes time. If you slowly increase the PEEP, and see oxygen levels rising and no change in the peak or plateau pressures, then you know you are recruiting lung segments that are available. If there is no oxygenation improvement or the airway pressure rises too high, then there are fewer recruitable lung segments or you're now over distending the alveoli. If there are hemodynamic consequences to the PEEP titration, then consider additional fluid or you're going to have to back off on the PEEP. Some people expand on the potential to recruit lung segments that are collapsed with a brief period of high pressures, then an increase in PEEP to keep them open. Most lung segments will open at pressures less than 25 centimeters of water, but some require much higher pressures if they are injured. These recruitment maneuvers, as they are called, are designed to open the lungs and keep them open. Unlike simply increasing PEEP, recruitment attempts to open lung segments not only for oxygenation but also to increase the amount of lung available for the tidal volume. When using a recruitment maneuver, it is critical that the PEEP is also increased to hold open these new lung segments. As a ballpark, the absolute minimum PEEP should be 10 centimeters of water but some lung segments will collapse at higher than that and consideration should be given to increasing the PEEP further still. There are many different recruitment methods described. They include sustained pressure with a hold to a higher pressure for a short period of time. This could include, for example, a pressure of 45 centimeters of water for 45 seconds, or alternatively, you could increase the peak pressure and PEEP to a setting of, for example, 45 over 16, while permitting regular tidal volumes for a longer period of time, such as two minutes, using a pressure control mode. The risk of recruitment maneuvers are similar to higher PEEP, namely, reduced venous return, increased right ventricular afterload, and over distension so it's best to be prepared. When you're thinking about trying a recruitment maneuver, consider the potential for effectiveness. Responsiveness declines over time as ARDS progresses into fibrosis. Is the lung injury susceptible to recruitment? For example, a lobar pneumonia is unlikely to benefit from recruitment as opposed to a diffuse process like a viral pneumonia. If the lung is already well recruited, then you're unlikely to get any bang for your buck as there may already be very few recruitable segments available to benefit from your maneuver. 
Will there be a significant increase in the change in pressure from the plateau pressure? If the plateau pressure is 38 and you recruit to 45, then there may not really be any added value. And finally, consider how stable the patient is and how likely they will tolerate the higher airway pressures. If there's any doubt about the potential for improvement with recruitment, it's absolutely not unreasonable to give it a try if you think the patient will tolerate it. One final note on prone positioning. ARDS is a heterogeneous process and tends to settle in the dependent regions of the lungs. This creates zones of collapse with open alveoli at the top and crushed consolidated alveoli at the bottom. Turning the patient prone can open these collapse segments and improve the VQ match by having the open segments at the top exposed to more blood flow. This procedure has been in and out of vogue for many years, but the current literature is pointing towards a clinical benefit in experienced groups, in addition to the beneficial physiological rationale supporting it.